Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to my channel. My name is Bernard, and today we're going to have a very important lesson. We're going to learn several things, and one of them is, is of extreme importance. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to play a major scale. And you'll find this is quite easy. As a matter of fact, you're going to play three major scales. Here's the first one. We'll start on the open G string. Now you'll probably recognize that those are the first four notes of the left hand warm up in major. But now you can continue to the next string and play the same four notes with the same finger pattern. Sounds like this. So what you've played is G, A, B natural, C, D, E, F sharp, G. You might make note, since you're using the same finger pattern, that the second finger B natural on the G string is right across from the second finger F sharp on the D string. So get used to that. Now we can do the same thing on the D string. We can start a D, F sharp, go to the A string, C, then which is a D major scale, and we used F sharp and C sharp. We're basically going up the circle of fifths. We started on G, we went up a fifth to D, and G has one sharp, F sharp, D has two sharps, F sharp, C sharp. You'll note also that the sharps are a fifth higher. Now you can guess already that if we go to A, there'll be three sharps in the key signature, F sharp, C sharp, and a fifth higher, G sharp. Sounds like this. So that's a very easy way to learn your first three scales. Now, it's also quite interesting that we can not only play going up, but we can play coming down. And there are several things that come into play now. So I will start on the A on the top. Now, as I go, I'm about to play my third finger because I just played E and I want to play D. Notice my elbow's moving, third finger goes down by itself. Then I put in the second, first, open. Let me turn around and you can watch the same thing. Here's my third finger. There's my elbow going, third finger's right there. Now, this is another illustration of how valuable, how important it is to leave fingers very close over the string, very close over the string, so that when I have to go to the next string down, all I do is rotate my elbow, down it goes. So this elbow action I call anticipation because as I'm playing, playing the open E, I've already made the elbow action. There's the third finger. I have problems <laughs> getting uncoordinated. All right, I should be staying in this direction. All right, one more time so you can see. Elbow. Now if I do the same thing on the A string going to the D string, you'll see elbow, third finger by itself, that second, and I'll do the same between the, the D and the G. And you'll notice, of course, when I'm starting like this, I'm just putting this third finger down to elbow action. So this is a really beautiful exercise 
if you can keep your fingers close, you see how easy it is for me to stay playing in tune all the time. Let me, let me face straight on the camera, and then you'll watch my elbow as I do the same thing. So I'll start on the third finger A. Elbow. 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 So you notice, as I was playing the open strings in this case, my elbow was already moving. Now, let's, let's upgrade one more level. Instead of playing open strings going down, let's play fourth finger. So now it looks like this. Elbow. 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 So you notice I did the anticipation while I was playing the first finger. Again. Again, you notice how easy it is for me to do this because I'm not grabbing with my thumb. I've got the crutch. So I'm very, very relaxed in there. Okay. So what I would suggest is for your practice to take the one octave scales and do... And then come right back down the same way with an open. You know, anticipate. And after you've done that a number of times, maybe even for days, I don't know, then try it with the fourth finger. You'll find there's there's a little bit more difficulty with this, and I'll show you what. Anticipate the action, and then you have a third finger. At first, it'll feel a little bit, a little bit strange. Now, let me do the same thing with the D string. Here's the open elbow. Here's the first finger, rotate, there's your elbow. Same thing on the A string. Okay, so I would say that is the most, possibly one of the most important lessons that I've given you because the anticipation with the elbow is very, very important. We're going to be doing other actions anticipating the elbow also. It's basically positioning your hands ahead of time so that you're ready to play everything on the, on the next string that you're playing going down. Just as a general um, rule when we when we practice scales we will we will play open strings going up i mean this is of course just in first position we play open strings going up we play fourth fingers coming down so we get all the all the practice okay well thank you so much for listening i hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions please put them in the comments um so if you like it give it a thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks very much. Have a great day.